Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Danielle. Um, I'm sorry about my voice. Or maybe I'm not sorry. Maybe my voice sounds better like this. I actually hate the sound of my voice. Um, I had kind of a sore throat yesterday. And even though my throat doesn't really hurt so much today, it's still just a little bit crackly. Um, I'm hoping it makes my voice sound more sexy and sultry. I'm sorry. I don't know what my dogs are barking at. Hold on a second. Okay, I have no idea what they were barking at, if anything. Alright, so, um, Thursday, I am getting a colonoscopy done. And, um, you know, I've mentioned in previous videos, or if you just know me personally, you know that I've had issues with my stomach, um, and bathroom issues for a long time. Um, it's mostly constipation, but I have had some issues with diarrhea, a lot of stomach aches, um, I've been in and out of the ER and out of the doctor's office for my stomach pains, um, over the years. Um, it's caused me weight gain, it's caused me weight loss, um, and so, finally, my doctor is taking me seriously and he, um, got me a referral for a colonoscopy. And luckily, the, um, what do you call it, um, the, I don't know, the colon doctor, I forgot what they're called, um, took my symptoms serious enough to arrange for me to get uh, the colonoscopy done. So I thought I would read through, that's my salami in the background, hold on, I'm trying to get comfortable in this chair. Um, I thought I would read through the prep that I have to do for tomorrow because honestly the prep is the part that I'm most afraid of. The colonoscopy itself, I'm like, I'm going to be asleep for it, so... Um, I figure, you know what, they've seen plenty of buttholes, um, I'm gonna be asleep, I'm not really too scared about that. The prep, though, I'm gonna be awake for. I've had bad experience with laxatives, I hate laxatives, it makes me ill. You know, like when you've had that one alcohol that you almost died from and every time you think about it, like you feel sick, that's how I am with laxatives, like I took too many laxatives one time out of desperation and it was the worst feeling ever like I would almost take labor pains over that sensation um how people get addicted to laxatives I have no idea um but anyways so I want to talk about the prep um because I was a little bit con you know confused because I'm not gonna lie I hadn't read the instructions I was just gonna read it today so um the procedure's on Thursday, today's Tuesday. Um, I gotta be there at 9.30, even though the procedure's at like 11.30. I guess it's just so they can talk to me and put me under and all the other stuff. Um, the part, one of the parts I hate the most about this is I have to go buy two um, 8.3 ounce bottles of Miralax or the generic brand. And I have to take four Dulcolax tablets um, over the next day. Um, let me read how these instructions work and you'll see why. So, one one part I kind of fucked up on, it says five days prior you're not supposed to take certain medicines. Meloxicam is on the list of medicines you're not supposed to take. And of course, meloxicam is a medicine that I take. Ooh, my hair. Um, meloxicam is one of the medications I take. Um, I did stop taking my iron, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to not take my Meloxicam today and the rest of the day, so it should be okay. Um, according to this, on 2-20, you know, tomorrow, the day of the procedure, I can't have any solid foods. Um, I thought I was going to have to start taking this stuff tonight, so I was a little confused. I knew I couldn't eat anything tomorrow, but I didn't know if I could eat dinner tonight or not. But anyways, I can have pretty much all clear liquids except um, anything red. I also can't have any milk and no sugar. Although, strangely enough, it says I can have soda. I don't know. I feel like there's tons of so sugar in soda, but whatever. Um, also, I can have apple juice. I'm kind of like, well, there's sugar in apple juice, too. But I can also have some beef broth, chicken broth, things like that. So I might go get a couple cans of that. Um, I'm pretty good about not eating during the day. I mean, like... It's like 4 o'clock and I'm only just now eating something. Um, my concern is the night. I can go all day without food. My concern is the next 24 hours or the second half of the 24 hours. So we'll see. Um, according to this, at 3 p.m., I'm supposed to take two dual collapse tablets by mouth at, um, you know, at 3 with 8 ounces of water. 
y'all, I'm already about to vomit thinking about this. Like, ugh. So at 4 p.m., basically an hour later, I have to take the whole bottle of Miralax, so that whole entire first bottle, with half a gallon of some kind of clear liquid. Anything without red in it. So I got to sip on that, you know, for the next four to six hours that night. And then an hour after I finish drinking that solution, I got to take the other two dual Galax. That's a lot of laxatives for basically five hours of time. Y'all, my stomach is already turning thinking about this. The other thing I'm concerned about, which they're going to address on this next page, is my metabolism and my system are so slow. Like, I just don't think that's enough time for me. Um, but they do address that says stay close to a bathroom because you may continue to have bowel movements into the late evening, early morning, which that part sucks. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Um, the stool may become yellowish or watery. Um, it says here that I can't start the prep earlier in the day if I feel like I need more time. So that part's cool. Um, I can start taking it at 12, um, no earlier than 12, and then I can follow it with the or take the dual collax at 12 and then I can follow with the mirror lex at 1. So basically what I'll do is I guess I'll take the dual collax at 12, drop Micah off at his therapy, and then try my best to just chug this mirror lex mixture at 1. And then pray that it doesn't hit until after we come back from Micah's um, jujitsu class. Because the jujitsu class is at 5. So I either need for all of this to come out before five or I needed to wait until six when I get back home um so it says I cannot eat or drink anything after midnight except what is here so at 6 30 a.m a.m this is the part I'm mad about so you're basically telling me I might be shitting all night but then I gotta turn around and get up at 6 30 in the morning okay to take more laxative. I basically have to now drink another half bottle of Miralax with 32 ounces of water over two hours or within two hours basically. Oh my god. And after that I cannot eat or drink anymore. Um, so after I've completed my prep it says it, you know, my stool should be clear or yellow and then if I'm still having hard or mushy stool I'm supposed to call them to get further instructions. Um, so basically after uh, like 8.30 I'm not allowed to drink anymore. Um, it does say I can take my medicine but I don't take my medicine until late in the evening so I'm probably not going to take it because really the only things that I take are um, my gabapentin, I take my meloxicam and then I take some vitamins. Um, so I don't, you know, I just, I, there's not really a point in me doing that, especially since when I go there, they're going to be putting me under anyways. Um, I do have to take somebody with me because I'm going to be under anesthesia. Um, and if I don't have anyone to be with me, um, and stay there at the hospital, basically I can't go through the procedure and I can't leave, like, you know, if they leave. Um, so I did ask my dad, I'm hoping he remembers. I just sent him a text. I know he's at work right now. Um, I do have a backup. My friend said that she can make it. Um, you know, I just got to let her know early enough. Um, I just hope I can find someone to take me because if I cancel this appointment, I got to pay the $100. And I'll be damned if I drink all of this laxative, all this Miralax, and all this water, and dual collax, and then have to turn around and pay $100 because I couldn't make it to, to the procedure. Like, I don't even have the money to pay for these medicines. Like, I think I have 20 bucks in my wallet, so I'm hoping that'll cover it. I'm waiting for Micah to get off the bus. Um, and then we'll head out to the store. I've been working all day, so I just wanted to come home and just sit down for a minute um, before I go back out. Um, so that's pretty much it. Honestly, like I said, I, I am more nervous about the prep than I am about the actual procedure. Um, yeah, I am nervous about the procedure. I mean, you know, I'm going to be bent over or whatever it is they do and I'm gonna have a bunch of people staring at my butthole but then I figure you know what that's their professionals that's what they went to school for um I I'm not really nervous about them finding anything or not finding anything I with that I kind of figure it is what it is I've been dealing with these issues for over 10 years at this point um 20 if we include um when it started back in my teen years 
so at this point I'm just kind of ready to get some kind of answer um, I do have uterine fibroids last I checked I had two so I do kind of wonder sometimes if um, maybe you know not so much that they're causing it but maybe they're kind of pushing up on my intestines which might be causing me some of the pain and discomfort um, or maybe they're messing with my hormones, which that might also be causing some kind of problems as well. Um, but anyways, now that I know I can eat, I'm going to go ahead and eat some dinner or start cooking some dinner um, for tonight. And then I guess I'm going to run out to the store and go get these laxatives and then cry about it um, because I don't want to take them. Um, I'm about to drink some Smooth Move tea because my stomach hurts pretty bad. I've got this... Um, it was hurting kind of in the middle yesterday. I felt like I had like um like a big like a fist um or like a, a couple rocks sitting inside my abdomen. Um, now it doesn't really feel so much like that, but in my side I am having a bit of a stabbing pain. So I might go ahead and at least take the smooth move tea just to kind of get things moving, and then maybe that way when I take the Miralax, it won't be um it won't take as long. Um, but anyways, um, I'm probably going to get back on here tomorrow just to kind of talk a little bit more about the actual prep and what I'm doing. I have no intention of taking anybody into the bathroom with me. This is not that kind of channel. Um, but I do still encourage you to, you know, subscribe to this channel if you want to hear a little bit more about my colonoscopy, um, figuring out my health issues, and also Micah and his autism journey. Oh, and also my hair journey. Um, I've been, you know, working on growing my hair out. I am getting a little bit of length. Um, I've been trimming my hair pretty much every week, but um, anyways, I'm not going to talk too much about that right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, bye. <laughs>